Welcome back to the Mark Janard Show, Hack Pack, the tech show about hacking. In this video, Apple is going to allow its users to sideload apps. What are you saying? So to start, I'm going to talk about what sideload is. I'm going to conclude with when sideload will happen. And in the middle of the meat of the story, I'm going to break it down, simplify it so we can understand better. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You know we're going dark. <laughs> Uh, Apple has been under pressure in the European Union as the Digital Markets Act antitrust legislation requires the company to allow users to sideload apps outside the App Store to increase competition. Uh, 9 to 5 Mac has now found evidence in the iOS 17.2 be beta code that the company is indeed moving towards enabling sideloading on iOS devices. Now, here's an update on this story, right? Apple has published new documentation for Manage App Distribution API on its website confirming that it, that it is primarily intended as an MDM solution. So uh, <laughs> it could still be used for other purposes. Now, what is side loading, right? For those unfamiliar, <laughs> myself to a certain degree, the side loading process consists of installing apps obtained from third party sources instead of an official source. Uh, when it comes to iOS, the official source and the only one available to iPhone and iPad users is the app store. Apple has never allowed side loading on iOS as this would allow apps to bypass the App Store guidelines. However, the European Union last year passed the Digital Markets Act or DMA, which is a new piece of antitrust legislation aimed at big tech companies so they don't use their advantages to undermine competition. One of the requirements of the DMA is that users can install any apps they want from third party sources. Previous reports revealed that Apple had been doing under the hood work on iOS 17 to prepare the system for sideloading in Europe with the iOS iOS 17.2 beta internal code suggests that this is true. iOS 17.2 seems ready to allow alternative app stores. iOS 17.2 has a new public framework called Managed App Distribution. While you know the first thought was that this API would be related to MDM solutions for installing enterprise apps, which is already possible on iOS, it seems that Apple has been working on something more significant than that. By analyzing the new API, we've learned that it has an extension endpoint declared in this system which means that other apps can create extensions of this type digging even further we found right it is found that unused entitlement that will give third-party apps permission to install other apps in other words this would allow developers to create their own app stores which can <laughs> that can open a whole can of worms the api has basic controls for downloading installing and even updating apps from external sources it it can also check whether an app is cap um, compatible with a specific device or iOS version, which the App Store already does. Again, this could easily be used to modernize MDM solutions. But here's another thing. It was there was also found references to a region lock in this API, which, which suggests that Apple could restrict it to specific countries. This wouldn't make sense for MDM solutions, but it does make sense for enabling sideloading in particular countries only when required by authorities, such as in the European Union, right? Earlier this year, it was reported that Apple had developed a new system to restrict specific iOS features based on uh, the user's location. Now, when will this happen? In theory, in theory, in theory, because we don't know, app is required to comply with DMA legislation by March 2024. The company has even admitted in a Form 10K filing that it expects to make changes that will impact the App Store's business model. At the same time, Apple will also appeal to the European Union about including the App Store in the Digital Markets Act, which is no surprise. Apple will likely try everything to preserve the iOS App Store, but but ultimately iOS 17 will be ready for side loading. Please let me know what do you think about this? Apple versus the uh, UE, the European Union. They've been fighting for a while in, in regards to policy, laws, rules, etc. Who do you think is going to win this battle? Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. Please share the content. I appreciate your viewership. See you on the next video.